What's up, you guys? My name is uh, Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is a free channel collective reading for sign of Sag. This will resonate if you have Sag any aspects of your charts. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, Mid, Hand, Richard, your charts. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, that fly. Everyone has their will. Only take the messages that resonate with the rest. Free general oracle card reading for June of 2022. So it's very important. I only take the messages that resonate. Link press. Share messages. Yes, yeah, not bad. Thanks everybody for all the love and support to the channel. We're at 13,015 subscribers right now. So thanks so much for all the love and support. It helps support a single mama of two kids and one of her income streams. So I, I truly, really, really, really appreciate it. I do, I do, I do who. Just want to let everybody know if you think anyone else would enjoy my channel, please feel free to share my channel very publicly on social media or word of mouth. I very much appreciate it, you guys. Um, this could resonate if you have side to any aspects of your charts. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, Midheaven, or Jupiter charts. I encourage everybody to check out their Sun, Moon, Rising, and North Node, North Node charts at least. Um, so if you don't get a message in your sun sun sign, you can uh, maybe get messages in your other placements, possibly. Okay, um, I just heard a Sagittarius and a, a Pisces uh, is about to get in a huge argument soon. That's what I just heard. Sagittarius and a Pisces. So... Um, you and a Pisces, Piscean energy is about to get into a huge argument in some shape, form, or fashion. Um, if that message applies for you, um, Sag, so kind of Piscean energy, it could be a masculine or could have Pisces, they could have Pisces in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or Thumb, Midheaven, or Jupiter charts. I've been pulling in a lot of Piscean energy in Sag's readings lately, so I strongly feel a lot of you guys are obviously dealing with Piscean energies. So you plug it in, how it resonates. Spirit messages share how it's For one, Sagittarius, this argument is going to be detrimental to the relationship. Detrimental. For some, it's a works, uh, workspace situation, relationship. For some, it is a personal connection. Okay. For some, it's a workspace situation, connection. For some, it's a personal connection. So you have to plug this Pisces in, in your life while it resonates. You could be an employee. You could be a position of authority in the workspace situation. Um, the Piscean could be an um, employee or they could be a position of authority. Only you know your story, not anybody else there, Sag. And for some, it's a personal connection. Heavy Piscean energy. Spirit messages you have on Sag. A Sagittarius is about to learn of a drug smuggling operation in their company. They're about to really, really step up and report this. Some to the police, some to a compliance hotline, some both. Some some to FBI. Holy shit. Whoa, okay. So okay. So you plug it in how it resonates. I heard three. So one of you guys is about to learn about a drug smuggling operation in your company is what I heard. And I have been pulling in drug smuggling um, in a company, a hospital and a warehouse to be exact, um, for about, hold on, I'll tell you when, for about two, two and a half weeks now, to be honest. Uh, I've been pulling it in, pulling it in. It's uh, specifically in a hospital and a warehouse um, in a city. Um, and somebody, they've been doing it for a hot minute, but it sounds like soon it's about to be exposed. And one of you guys, you're about to learn of it in your company. So I think for one, you're, you're in the middle of this hot mess express, but you didn't realize you were, is exactly what I think. Um, for some, I heard you're about to report it to a compliance, corporate compliance hotline. For some, you're about to report it to police. For some, you're about to report it to the FBI. For some, you report it to one or two or two plus of those situations. Whether it's a compliance hotline, the police, local police, I'm feeling, or I heard specifically FBI. I didn't even hear federal agents. So Federal Bureau of Investigation. So you plug it in, how it resonates there, Sag. Um, but whoever you are, you did not know. 
you did not know this drug smuggling was occurring in your workspace, in your in your corporation. You work in a corporation. So I feel you could work possibly in a warehouse or a hospital because that's what I've been pulling in for the drug smuggling. But only you know your situation, not anybody else. I do feel for whoever this is for, it's probably a hospital or a warehouse. But you plug it in how it resonates, okay? But however that resonates, you're about to take some action, I'll tell you that. You did not know about it. You didn't know about it, so I feel you're about to wipe your hands clean of it. Once you do learn about it, yeah, you're about to create balance. It's your energy there. You're about to create balance, and you are about to report it to wipe your hands clean of it so you are not an accomplice to crime or crimes when the shit comes out. Because I'm telling you, whatever situation in the universe I've been pulling in for the past two weeks or so, it is about to blow up. And I mean, like, get exposed in a huge-ass way. And and I'm serious. And one of you guys is about to help expose it. You're about to learn of it. Now, how you're about to learn of it, I don't know. Um, I don't know if somebody's going to tell you or you walk in on somebody smuggling drugs out of a um, hospital um, a hospital um, storage room or somebody coming out of a alleyway of the hospital or with some drugs um, they're not supposed to have or a warehouse or etc 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 you plug it in how it resonates sag number 48 could be a very significant number in one's life number 48 it could be possible age of you or somebody you're connected to or any other significant number in one's life number 48 we have gazelle and crocodile for some you could be dealing with an earth sign or a uh, water sign if you are they could have Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, or um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, Moon, Hammer, and Jupiter, Charles, if you are. You have Gazelle, Crocodile, Turkey, someone is behaving stupidly. That's the drug smuggling energy, and I'm just being for real. For some, you're about to learn of this shit. For some, it could be a Piscean drug smuggler. Uh, younger, feminine, Piscean drug smuggler, possibly for some. And I'm not saying it is, but it might be. Because you, I mean, you're about to get into a huge ass argument with the Piscean in a workspace. You're pulling in drug smuggling energy in a workspace. I strongly feel for some hospital or warehouse. You're pulling up someone is behaving stupidly with younger woman. I mean, I'm just being for real. And then you have goal oriented person. I think, I think that's the energy of you about to report this drug smuggling shit. To the FBI for some, the local police for some, or um, the compl corporate compliance hotline. However that resonates. Lord. Glove and angel of balance. You're about to create balance and report this shit. The drug smuggling. Um, whether it's a Piscean drug smuggler or not. Um, you plug it in. How it resonates. Lord, this is so juicy already. We're only eight minutes in. Gazelle. A Sag is about to completely catch somebody off guard. For some, ass in the air. Personal situation. For some, workspace situation. Drug smuggling. This is so juicy. You plug it in, how it resonates. It hasn't happened yet. It just resonates for you. It has not happened yet. One of you guys is about to completely, well, for some, I feel it might be two people, but only you know you're throwing out anybody else, but somebody's about to completely catch somebody off guard. A Sag is. So you are about to completely catch somebody off guard. You could be masculine or feminine. You plug in and how it resonates. For some, it is a personal situation. Ass in the air, I heard. And Capricorn's last month had ass in the air too. Um, so I feel for some, I hate to say this, but I feel for some, you're about to be cheated on. Um, or it could just be somebody connected to you where you're about to catch their ass in the air. It doesn't have to be your partner. Um, for some, it could be a sneaky link, situationship, third party, or your spouse, or your par uh, fiance, or what have you, or what have you. Or for some, it could just be somebody you're connected to. Maybe it's a family member you catch with their ass in the air, or a coworker, 
or a neighbor or what a what a buddy what a, I don't know. But some kind of ass in the air energy in a personal situation, you're about to catch them with the ass in the air. That's one. The other for someone could be a Pisces. I mean, you're pulling Pisces energy. Or not. And for one, it is um drug smuggling in a workplace. Heavy. Heard they're gonna be like deer in headlights. I think in both of these situations. So they're gonna be like a gazelle um running far, I think, because um after you catch their ass. And like deer in headlights. Now this isn't the deer card, it is the gazelle card, but they are a species hybrid species off of deer. So deer in headlights. They're gonna have big doe ass eyeballs when you catch their ass, is what I'm feeling. And they're gonna run fast and far like a gazelle is what I'm feeling. Oh my lord, for some it could be an earth sign you're about to catch. Uh drug smuggling in a work site situation. I'm feeling strongly a hospital or a warehouse for some. For some it could be something else, and for some with their their eyes in the air. You plug it in how it resonates there, Sag. Holy crap. They're about to run like a gazelle, I think, away from your ass. A Taurus is very heavily involved in this, and a Piscean. A Sag is about to get a huge ass wake up call. Okay, I heard a Taurus and a Piscean is very heavily involved in this. So, heavily involved either in the ass in the air, che um, cheaters type energy, or um, drug smuggling out of a workspace situation. You plug it in, how it resonates. So, Taurus and Piscean energy. It can be masculine or feminine Taurus, masculine or feminine Pisces. They can have Taurus or Pisces and their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, Mini, and Jupiter charts. You plug it in, how it resonates. In one of these shocking series of chain of events, you will end up calling the police. This Taurus will be very pissed. Know this. In one of these shocking series of chain of events, you will end up calling the police. Uh, know this. Um, the Taurus will be very pissed. So the Taurus is going to be pissed. One, they're exposed. And two, you're going to call the police for one of you guys in this situation. I feel it might be two of you guys about to catch somebody with their ass in the air or some kind of drug smuggling. But for however that resonates, you're going to, one of you, of course, only you know your story, not anybody else. Only you know the actions you're going to take, not anybody else. You're going to call the police. And it's going to piss off the Taurus. But I think it's going to piss off the Taurus because, the, one, the Taurus is involved in this. And two, whether you know it or not, and two, um, it's going to decrease their money train. It's going to decrease their money train for the drug smuggling. They're doing it out of a company for somebody. And I strongly feel for some. It is a hospital. For some, it is a warehouse. For some, it is long-term care facility. For some, it is a long-term care facility. Is what I heard. Oh, my God. For some, it's a long-term care facility. So, if for some, it's a behavioral health facility. And for some, it's a behavioral health facility. For, ooh, so, for some, it's warehouse. For some, it's hospital. For some, it's long-term care. For some, it's behavioral health facility snap you plug it in how it resonates Woo! so i feel for some you could work in these long-term care behavioral health hospital or warehouse and you're about to catch this shit but you're about to take positive action here one of you guys going to call the police that's exactly what i would do because it wipes your hands clean of this because if you know what's going on and you leave it covered up covered up when somebody gets tips to the police that's not a dirty cop and really wants to take the action on that shit, you won't be an accomplice. You will know you did what you need to do and report that shit, and it wipes your hands clean of it because you were not involved and you don't want to become an accomplice to crime or crimes. And in this situation, drug smuggling is a serious-ass crime, and that's just the damn truth. Crocodile. One Piscean will end up losing their license over this. Medical professional. Know this. But you know they should. 
Okay, I heard one Piscean will end up losing their licensure over this. Medical professional, but you know they should. So, I think when you catch this person drug smuggling, or maybe they're going to be shooting drugs up on themselves. I mean, hell, I don't know. I didn't hear they were going to be shooting drugs on themselves, but somebody's drug smuggling. And we have Piscean and Taurus energy in here. I heard a Piscean will lose their, end up losing their licensure over this. And they are a medical professional. So, they have to have a license in some shape, form, or fashion. Like, I'm an RN. I've had a licensure, licensure since 2013. So, I feel they're either a, a LPN, an LVN, a licensed practical nurse, a licensed vocational nurse, a registered nurse. A nurse anesthesiologist, certified nurse practitioner, or a respiratory therapist, or a physical therapist, or occupational therapist, or something of that nature. Whoever this Taurus and Piscean are. And I think it's the Piscean that works in the behavioral health unit, behavioral health facility, long-term care, hospital, or warehouse. But I think the Taurus is connected to the Piscean outside of this. I think they're in it together. For some, the Taurus could work with them, but you definitely work with this Piscean, I'll tell you that for sure, whoever you are. Holy crap. Crocodile. For one Sagittarius, you're going to end up getting high honor for this. Know this. For one Sagittarius, you're going to end up getting high honor for this. Know this. So you're going to end up getting high honor for reporting. Um, either to police, FBI, or um, corporate compliance hotline. How that resonates. Wow, man. You go with your bad self. Crocodile. A very sneaky Gemini is about to try to come back into your life for some. It would not be smart. This person never added any value to your life. Okay. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. I heard a very sneaky croc uh, crocodile. I'm sorry, a very sneaky Gemini. Very sneaky Gemini is going to try to come back into your life. I heard it would not be smart to allow them back in. They have never added any real value to your life. So. Gemini energy, they could have um, Gemini in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or feminine hand for Jupiter charts. Whoever this person is, Sag, they have energetically separated from you. For some, you could have blocked them in the past, or they could have just moved on in life, and now they want to come mosey rosy on back. But whoever they are, they never added any real value to your life, so they didn't add to your life. I feel for some, they could have pulled it down, or may create a problem there, but they never added value to it, that's for sure. Um, whoever the Gemini is, and how they resonate, okay? It is somebody not currently in your life. I'll tell you that. Um, whoever this Gemini is, masculine or femme. But they're going to try to sneak back into your life. They're going to try to be sneaky like a crocodile in the night in the water. Um, but they never added any real value in your life. And for one Sagittarius, a Gemini husband is about to be very publicly exposed. Cheater. Oh, Lord. For some, it's a Leo masculine. Oh, okay. So, for some of you guys, you have a, a Gemini husband cheater. And for some, a Leo husband, well, masculine, Leo masculine cheater. He can either be a husband or he can be a fiance or he can be a significant, like a boyfriend or a girlfriend. But for some, it's a Gemini husband cheater. He's about to be exposed. So, you can be a masculine or femme gem, um, Sag, but it's a you have a Gemini masculine husband, for one. For one, you have a Leo masculine partner. Now, that could be a boyfriend, a girlfriend, a fiancé, a live-in, or a legally married spouse. But cheater energy exposed. Um, Y'all know the show Cheaters? That's what this reminds me of, except you're about to be the exposure. Um, or somebody connected to you is about to be the exposure. But they thought they were going to get away with it, like a crocodile in the water at night, being very sneaky. Uh, but you're about to eat their ass up with evidence is what I feel. 
For some, hell, you might take them to the court of law for um, infidelity and wipe their ass clean financially. I didn't hear you were going to, but if it was me and I had the straight up hardcore proof, I would do that shit in a heartbeat. That's just the damn truth, but only you know your story now anybody else. Let me, let me see. Check out something real quick. I'm sorry, y'all. Okay, Turkey, someone is behaving stupidly. I think this is the drug smuggling, the cheating, um, whether it's the Leo masculine partner or the Gemini husband, the drug smuggling, you've got Taurus and Piscean energy and drug smuggling. You plug in how it resonates. Someone is behaving stupidly. I will change very soon in a Sagittarius's life because of people making very irrational, stupid choices. Okay, well, I don't blame you. I heard a will change coming soon. Uh, it sounds like you're about to change your will soon, Sag. Uh, for some, it could be somebody else, but I strongly feel for a lot of you guys, it's you about to change your will. I heard it's because someone's making irrational, stupid decisions. So I feel for some, I mean, whoever this is that you currently have in your wheel, I think you're about to, you're ob whoever you are, you're obviously about to make will changes to your own wheel, your, your money, your property, your assets, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But whoever person or people that's currently in your wheel, they're the ones behaving stupidly here. I heard because of people making irrational, stupid choices, uh, not calling them stupid, but they are making the act of stupid choices, the act of irrational, impulsive dis the choices, um, which I'm sure embarrasses you because they're behaving stupidly. It doesn't have to be a family member. For some, it can't, uh, for some of you guys, a lot of you guys are strong feel it is. For some, I don't feel it is, though. For some, I just feel like it could be anybody in your wheel. You can have people in your wheel that are not your family members. For anybody doesn't know that. So, but you're about to make some kind of wheel change. I think you're about to take these crazy chicken head type people out of your damn wheel. And I'm not, I mean, I'm serious. They have the energy of a damn chicken head. Y'all know the song? Chick, 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 chicken head. Just saying. No, nay, nay. Hashtag no chicken heads. Younger woman, dealing's a relationship with a younger woman. A pregnant teenager is about to become very significant in a Sage's life. Okay. Heard a pregnant teenager is about to become very significant in a Sage's life. For some, it's your grandchild. For some, you are a social worker. For some, she's homeless. Oh, Lord. So, because some kind of pregnant teenager energy about to become significant in your life. For some, it's your grandchild. For some, it is... Um, a homeless teenager, homeless teenager, and for some, it is you are a social worker. So you're about to deal with her in the means of you being the social worker and her um, needing service or services or maybe a place to stay or something like that. Um, I feel for the social worker energy, you probably work for child protective services is what I'm feeling for um, whoever that's for or any other way you are a social worker and you're dealing with her. But for one, it's your grandchild. And I strongly feel, I heard pregnant teenager, but I strongly feel it is a feminine energy. Well, it has to be. She's pregnant. Um, unless she's trans and has masculine and feminine parts. You know, how that resonates, okay? Um, but however that resonates, she definitely has vaginal parts. I will tell you that for sure, for sure. And she is a teenager. And um, I know in the state of Alabama, you can't have sex changes as a teenager. It's illegal and against the law. So if she lives in the state of Alabama, she shouldn't be having no man parts unless she was naturally born with them. I'm just being for real, for real, okay? Now, I don't know about any other states, but I'm just saying, okay? But some kind of pregnant teenager energy. So I don't know. Um, for some, it's your grand. I feel your granddaughter. Or she might have masculine and femme parts, but your granddaughter, I'm feeling for some. For some, it is a homeless teenager. A femme teenager, I'm feeling. For some, you are the social worker about to deal with this pregnant teenager. Can you plug it in how it resonates?
And for one Sagittarius, a feminine energy younger than you is uh, really, really positively influencing you. You never thought they would. Very high vibrational person, but just know when you dealt with this person in real time in the past, someone really lied to you. For some, you're getting a huge ass wake up call now. For some, you're about to. Okay, so you plug in how it resonates. So if this resonates for you, Sag, you can be masculine or feminine. You plug in how it resonates. But it is some kind of younger, high vibrational femme energy. High vibrational femme energy. So she's a high vibrational femme energy. She treats people honestly, trust, respect, loyalty, values, integrity, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But she is younger than you. So, for example, I can only speak on myself, not anybody else. But I'll just use myself as an example. I'm a 38-year-old woman, right? I've been licensed as an RN since 2013. 38-year-old woman. Just for real, for real, right? Well, if I was you and this, and I was, girls were flipped and I was watching this channel and this reading and it resonated with me or I thought it did and I was watching this, this younger woman energy would have to be 37 or below because I'm 38. So, you take your age and you just make this person younger than you, whatever age you are, if the message applies or you feel it does, okay? Like, for example, this person would have to be 37 or younger for me, okay? So, it's a femme energy younger than you, whatever age you are, a high vibrational femme energy. They treat people with honesty, trust, trust respect, morals, integrity, and value. I heard when you were in the presence of this person in the actual world and physical 3d space so everyday world we live in you were lied to on this person but i heard they lied to you for strategic reasons so somebody lied to you on this person for strategic reasons to put falsities into your head basically um so you would think negatively of this person but some you've already got a huge wake-up call and realize they're not the way these other people or a person said they were for some, you're about to. They're actually very high vibrational. They treat people with honesty, trust, respect, morals, integrity, and values. And I heard this uh, feminine energy is actually influencing you in very positive ways, ways you never thought they would influence you. So if anybody influences, I don't care if it's a woman or a man, if anybody, woman, man, or unidentifiable, and I'm not trying to be mean, but I'm just being serious, if anybody regardless on gender, race, age, etc., 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 influences you in a positive way, that's always a very, very good thing is what I'm trying to say. I am not discriminatory. Nay, nay, said a little red hint. I'm just being disclaimer on that. But I'm serious. If anybody influences you in a positive way, they don't bring, bring drama to your life, um, strife to your life, um, problems to your life, That that's a good, that's a keeper. I don't care if that's a platonic relationship or a romantical relationship. And whoever this femme energy is, obviously she has not brought drama or strife to your life. It just sounds like she wants to live her life in a positive way. Just like everybody has the right freedoms and liberties to do so. But I heard she's um, influencing your life in a positive way. So whoever this person is. Now, obviously don't think this is a drug smuggler. Um, and I don't think this is a Pisces or Taurus in your workspace situation or the ass in the air energy. This is somebody else that used to be in current energetic space with you in the world, but they're not anymore. It's somebody in your past that you used to be around in the world in the 3D space, but you're not around them in the world in the 3D space anymore, if that makes sense. So it's not your current drug smuggler people or ass in the air people or what have you, okay? Oh, my Lord. Target, a goal-oriented person. Um, I feel this person, I mean, this is great. I just want to say this is really great energy. Soon, one of you is going to pay it forward to this person in a huge positive way. Okay, I heard soon one of you guys is going to pay it forward to this person in a huge positive way. So one of you guys is about to pay it forward to this person, this high vibrational femme energy younger than you in a positive way. For one of you, this person is older than you. For one of you, this person is older than you. Well, we have a younger woman. Um, okay, so for a lot of you guys, this person's younger than you. But for one of you guys, this person's older than you. Um, 38. 
38 is what I heard, okay? So for a lot of you guys, this person is younger than you. For one of you guys, this person is 38, and they are older than you. So only you know your story. Now, anybody else, you plug it in how it resonates, okay? Target, a goal-oriented person. About to meet a quota. And for one Sagittarius, you're about to meet your weight loss goals. Oh, well, you go with your bad self. So somebody, one of you guys is about to meet your quota. So whatever quota that is, I feel it's workspace energy, to be honest, for some of you guys. For some, it could be something else. But some kind of quota energy. I, I, I feel strong. I feel maybe marketing or promoting, um, promotions or marketing. For some, some kind of quota energy or commission energy, sales possibly for some um and for some for some it's some kind of weight loss goal so you planning on um you know hitting a certain weight loss goal and you're about to hit it well i've still got my weight loss goal to, to do and i need to post a video on my hashtag weight loss boss i haven't started that yet but i need to so you plug it in how it resonates and one's about to start weight loss goals and one is about to start weight loss goals so one, you're about to hit weight loss goals, target. One, you're about to start weight loss goals, your target. For one, um, some kind of quota energy. So I feel sales strongly for some. For some, it could be marketing or promotions or something like that. Glove. White collar crimes are about to become very significant in a Sagittarius's life. For one, you're about to report them when you find these out. Okay, I heard white collar crimes are about to be very significant in a Sagittarius's life. You're about to report them when you find them out. So, some kind of white collar crime energy. The glove aspect in this aspect is I think you're about to whoop somebody, not physically whoop somebody's ass with the glove, but metaphorically speaking. Um, Thank somebody's booty because of the white collar crimes in the form of a report or reports. Um, because white collar crimes, for anybody who doesn't know, those are huge. That's like Rico crime energy. That's huge, 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 huge federal offense after federal offense after federal offense after federal offense after federal. Offense. I mean, huge ass things. Not no little blue collar crimes. White collar crime, organized crime. I mean, serious shit. And I'm just being real. But what are you guys about to find out about the um, white collar crime or crimes, whatever they are? I'm feeling fraud or identity theft or forgery or um, or illegal voyeurism or something like that. And you're about to report the shit is what I feel for some. Angel of Balance. A forged check is about to become very significant in a Sagittarius' life. A forged check is about to become very significant in a Sagittarius' life. So some kind of forged check energy. Um, hopefully you're not the forger, forgerer. Um, for some you might be, but I feel for a lot of you guys, somebody's about to forge a check, your check. So I'd be careful. I'd keep my purse to myself, my wallet to myself, my bank account information to myself. Whoever this is, it's a check. I think a physical check. They're about to do it. And I feel for a lot of you guys, they're, it, it's about to be your check. They're about to, your signature they're about to forge. And your check. For some, you could be the forger, but I hope to God not. But you plug it in how it resonates. But it's about to create balance. I think you're about to check your I I think you're about to check your checking account. Um and realize that something's off. And hopefully you call your banking institution and report that shit, which will create balance, angular balance, your energy, size energy. Of course, you can take the advice or leave it. Just saying. Okay, I didn't. I didn't. All right, you guys. Well, I hope this helped. I love you guys so much. And if you think anyone else could um, benefit from the channel or would like the channel, please feel free to share my channel very publicly, social media and word of mouth. I very much appreciate it. Help support a single mom with two kids and her one of her income streams. 
Love you guys so freaking much, and namaste.